Uh, so tell me about the shop. How long has it been around? How did it uh, come to happen? We're just trying to hold the line, you know, be a um, explicitly pro-black shop yep. in Biddeford. So there's a meeting that all the black people in Maine go to. Yeah. <laughs> we know it's rigged. We know yeah. it's rigged. Yeah. We know it's rigged. We do our best regardless. We're doing it regardless. Mm -hmm. And and your mom employs me. Bang. Yeah. That's cool. That's a big deal Shout too. Shout out mom. That's a big deal too. Shout out mom. Yeah. Shout out mom. Yeah. No doubt. She lets me say stuff that other people do not let me say. New Negro Poet USA. Yeah. Yeah, we have the way. We know the way. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. See you the next meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I got snacks. As, as you know. Yeah, so this is Palestiner. This is literally my favorite restaurant in Maine. Oh, and here comes the greatest yes. breakfast sandwich ever created also. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That mod on there, too. Yeah. That was the greatest water <laughs> ever, too. So this is the, and this is the uh, deluxe breakfast Sammy. So I've gone and substituted oh, no. the Taylor yeah. ham roll in here. Smashed potatoes, the palace potatoes. And they, they do like a baked egg, so it's like an egg square Still with pickled going. jalapenos, mayo, and cheese. And they use the Thomas's sandwich size English muffins, which is key. Yeah. It's good. Why is that key? It's good. Because it, it holds Thin. the sandwich in. <laughs> it keeps everything together. Uh, there's like a weird like uh, cultural divide where it's like, like I grew up, my father cooking like, uh, like, a, like you're describing American food, yeah. right? And, and, but my American food was uh, black American food. My American food was like greens and pig's feet and things like that growing up. Uh, and you ain't gonna find that in here. <laughs> So like you're describing this experience exactly. that is just like alien. Very specific Like I grew up culture. in this town, by this I've never been here. I loved working in a liquor store. I have never been blacked out more in my life before 5 p.m. Like every day I would leave this store and have to be like, did I lock the store? And it'd be like 6.30 when I'm leaving, like broad daylight. I'd be blacked out of my fucking head. One time like, I'd be playing like Don't Pantera. Know. Don't and all this. One time this guy comes up and he goes, I don't even want my change, I just have to get out of here. <laughs> I'm just standing behind the thing with the music yeah, blaring, just shooting rumples. I had a, my, my favorite was to make like the wine, like the shelf talkers. My favorite one, that, it lasted two days before somebody noticed. It said, don't be a fuck face, buy some Robertson. <laughs> and I had it up for like two days before I'm somebody babe. was like, do you see the fuck face sign back there? It, it got said without me saying it, but I was gonna say, I think the driving force of the show is your collective inability to focus. Yes. Yeah. 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 I really think that's this is the first I mean, time someone's now. really hit the nail on the head. I think that's it. <clears throat> Driven to distraction. Yeah. As the crow flies. As the crow flies. Yeah. We just go there. We just go. And then we go the, to the, else. It's straight line, like from A to B. But it's incredible that you guys can focus on your inability to focus. Like you're talking, like yeah. this is the longest you've spoken about thing. anything. Is we are all literally God's prototype. <laughs> <laughs> all three of us. See, now I feel like it went in another direction. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about this, because I don't know as much about food as you guys. Yep. I don't know if you noticed how quiet I've been. <laughs> um, I thought you were just horrified of me. <laughs> Listen, I thought you were just scared uh, of me. No one's judging anybody. Um, He's just as afraid of us as we are. <laughs> Bourbon chipmunk? Dude, he's getting he's getting fucking he's getting, he's getting wasted off root beer. Watch out. Definitely. 